Hi everyone, do you want to create a WordPress website on your computer? This video will help you install WordPress CMS on your computer using the Xamarin Server solution. WordPress CMS is written in PHP and paired with MySQL and MariaDB database. Xamarin provides a local server environment, PHP and MySQL. So, to install WordPress CMS locally on our computer, we need to install the XAMPP package first. This video is divided into two parts. First, we'll install XAMPP server. And second, we'll install WordPress CMS. So, let's get started. Well friends, I'm back on my computer screen. Let's open a browser. On the address bar, search for XAMPP download. Hit enter. Well friends, the first search result is the XAMPP official website. Here you can see download ZAMP. Just click on this link and you will be sent here on this download page. Well friends, here you will see the latest three versions of ZAMP server. The bottom one is the latest one. It is 8.2.4. So it's wise to download the latest one. I'm just going to click over here and it will download automatically. Okay, here it is downloading. Okay, friends, the download is complete. Let's check the download folder. Okay, friends, to install the XAMPP server, just double click on this XAMPP installer file and it pops up an interface. It wants an administrative permission. Just click yes. Welcome to XAMPP. And it shows another warning. Just click OK. And then we see the XAMPP setup wizards. So like any software, just click on the next to start the installation process. Click next. And here you can see the list of the components. MySQL, PSP, a lot of things. Just leave it default. Just click next. And here you can see installation folder. You can install this on your computer C drive, D drive, and if you have a lot of drive, you can install XAMPP in any drive. Just for the experimental purpose, I'm just going to leave it default. But if you want to change, just click here. And from here, choose any folder or directory. Just click cancel. And I'm just going to click next. And from here, you can choose language and English is set default. So hit next. OK, it's ready to install. Just click next. And it is installing. I'm just going to minimize the window. OK, friends, the installation process is almost done. Just click on finish and here it is. You can see the XAMPP control panel and it pops up automatically. And on the left, here you can see the modules, Apache, Web Server, MySQL, Database. Okay, to install WordPress, we will need Apache and MySQL to be running. So to start Apache, here you can see a start button for Apache. This one will be the start button. Just click on it. And here you can see it is green now. So it's running. And to start MySQL, I'm just going to click over here. And here you can see it is running properly. That means we could successfully download and install XAMPP server. But we can also check it using the web browser. So open up the browser and on the address bar type http clone slash slash localhost. Hit enter. And here it is. So if you see this interface, that means XAMPP is installed properly on your system. Okay, so what next? Now we have successfully installed XAMPP. So the part one of this video is done. Now we need to download and install WordPress. So open a tab and type WordPress download. Hit enter. And here the first search result is the WordPress official website. Click on download WordPress. 
and it will be sent here. Okay, here you can see get WordPress and if I scroll down, here you can see download and install it yourself. So download WordPress big button. So I'm just going to click on this button to download the WordPress CMS. Here you can see it is downloading so fast. Okay, let's get back to the download folder. Here you can see WordPress. Okay, so we have downloaded WordPress and we are going to install it using the XAMPP server. Okay, friends, I'm just going to open a new window. And if I go to the C drive, here you can see XAMPP. That means, do you remember I installed the XAMPP server in the C drive? Okay, to install WordPress, we need to access the web root directory of XAMPP server. And the root directory of XAMPP server is stdocs. So let's get to XAMPP. So click on XAMPP folder. And here you can see a lot of files and folders. Okay, the most important one is here, stdocs. Just click on here. And inside stdocs will bring this WordPress file. Okay, I'm just going to copy it. Control C press ctrl c and bring it here and press ctrl v okay friends here you can see we have got the zip file inside the stdocs i need to unzip it just right click on it and here you can see winrar you will always use winrar to unzip okay just here you can see extract here on the bottom just click on it and it will extract it and that's it just wait for it okay here you can see a new folder wordpress okay let's go inside this folder here you can see all the wordpress related files okay so basically to create a wordpress website inside the jam server you will have to create a folder and we have already got a folder so we don't need to create any folder but if you want you can create any folder just right click and here you can see new and create a folder just click on it and type new site okay and what you will have to do just from this wordpress directory just copy all the files and you will have to put all the files inside this new sites folder okay remember you will have to put all the files just direct under the folder name of your website and this name will always be on the url okay so be careful and here we have new site new site okay so now let's start installing it so open up the browser again and i'm just going to type http localhost and after localhost now add a forward slash and type the name of the site it is new site okay now hit enter okay here is the wordpress installation interface and from here you can select the language english is selected and now on the bottom here you can see continue button just click on continue well friends here you can see wordpress says we need our database name we need our database user where will we get that okay to get that just go over here on the browser you can search for localhost and type php my admin just hit enter and here you can see the database creation interface okay here you can see database button just click on it to create a database and here you can see create database and name here a database name i'm just going to name it new db okay and hit this create button okay now we have got our database that is new db here it is so let's get back to the browser tab we have got the database and 
we have also got database username the username is root okay let's go click over here this button and now we are going to type the database name that was new db and user by default the user is root and the root user doesn't have any password so leave it blank and host is localhost table prefix is leave it default so now click this submit button and here it says run the installation just click on it okay the last process here we'll have to put the site name i'm just going to name it wp bream username okay here goes the password but i'm just going to change the password confirm weak password and enter your email address finally hit install wordpress just click on it okay success wordpress has been installed thank you and enjoy and here you can see our login link just click on this login link and here you can see now the url is wp-login.php and i'm just going to enter the username and password and click login okay friends welcome to wordpress so we could successfully install wordpress also and here on the left you can see the name of the site when you hover over it it says visit site just click on it and you can see the content of your website okay friends and here goes all the things regarding wordpress i believe you could successfully install the jam server you could download wordpress you could install wordpress also so thank you for watching i hope this video helped you don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this thank you for watching goodbye